Yeah, and while the recent scare here at Fiesta Island um, uh, was a may have been a false alarm, it does serve as a sobering reminder for pet owners to stay vigilant. Now, take a look at this. These are the warning signs that have been posted online. Uh, they were posted earlier this week, and hundreds of people uh, shared the posts that had warned people to avoid the island. Now, one woman says her dog died shortly after visiting the park. Uh, CBS 8 reached out to the city of San Diego and the San Diego Humane Society. They both tell us that no evidence of poison was found, and the Humane Society adds that no reports of dogs becoming sick also came in. So uh, I spoke to the Humane Society today about what pet owners need to know in the case that your pet does get into something it shouldn't. They say to watch out for unusual behavior or any sudden changes such as lethargy, loss of appetite, vomiting, seizures, bleeding in unusual areas, and bruising. The symptoms will vary um, with the animal signalment. So if your pet is young um, or if it's an older pet and maybe it has um, already some underlying medical conditions, you may see symptoms quicker. Now, the Humane Society insists that if your pet does get into something it shouldn't have and you're un aware of what that may be, the best thing you can do is call your vet immediately. But if you're on the road or just that's not an option for you and you're unable to reach a vet, you can always call the ASPCA Animal uh, Poison Control Center. They are available 24 7 every day of the year and their number is up on our screen so that you can see it. But again, call your vet if that's not an option. Call the Animal Poison Control Center.